Adding text to a page is pretty easy. Um, on my home page here, I'm actually going to delete this image and just get it out of the way. I added home page already, so I'm going to just have to say home. And with my mouse here, I'm going to actually line this top so it comes up top. So then, if I hit enter, it all it's always going to double space. But if I go back, if I do a shift enter, it's going to put it right under it. Okay. So now I can just highlight text. I can hit bold. I can um, highlight text and italicize it. So I can do lots of things just to add text. You can see a lot of times it's going to keep some of the there it goes and then other things to think about are just going back to HTML and basic formatting especially this will come handy in unit 3 when we start doing cascading style sheets but rather than just doing bold and as I can see right now this is a paragraph tag and it shows me a paragraph here and I can even look up in my split view and see the P's I'm actually going to highlight this and from this drop down list I'm going to hit h1 but see in this case I didn't want this to be in h1 so this is where it comes helpful to look up in split view because I can see the tag just needs to be dragged back over and that's the way it's supposed to look so that looks good so then later when I redefine with the CSS in unit 3 my h1 tag it's gonna change this exactly the way I want to keep in mind we'll get into this in, in unit 3 but you have a CSS button here that gives you certain rules and then you have an HTML. Right now we're just dealing with HTML. But that's the basic way to add basic text to your web page. And of course if you wanted to go back to page properties you could set up a font, font for the page um, as well as color but that's going to basically end up especially if you're on CS4 with default settings it's going to use CSS so we're going to not mess with that now, we'll get into that in um, Unit 3.